Man blocks woman at ATM, doesn't know dog is a cop. The sick feeling exploded up her throat and the rush of adrenaline commanded her to run away. It was like living one of her worst nightmares, and this mysterious dark figure was the central villain. He was far too close and his quick pace and direction matched hers. This was bad. There was only one thing to do. Sandra hated her neighborhood, but it was the only place she could afford on her meager waitress salary. There were two things that made her feel even remotely safe at home, the long line of sturdy locks down her reinforced steel door and her German shepherd, Bear. He was her massive, fluffy savior. Bear was a retired cop canine she had managed to adopt through a friend's connections. He might have been enjoying the restful years of his later life, but he was still sharp, loyal, and dangerous in the right situations. And tonight was going to be one of those unpleasant situations. Sandra felt the familiar pangs of cold fear and paranoia as she walked to the only safe ATM in her area. The greasy landlord wasn't going to let things slide another day. She had no choice but to take Bear and try to avoid the darker spots that were notorious for crime. The first, unsettling hurdle appeared around the corner. A group of guys perched on a doorstep, drinking and commenting loudly on the even louder music that was keeping the entire block awake. They were big, marked, and unabashedly armed. Sandra felt the all-too-familiar pit of ice form in her stomach and a strong urge to flee. One of them saw her. That's when the catcalls started. Disgusting comments that would make any mother want to punch the disrespect right out of their son's mouth. Flashes of past, disturbing news stories appeared in her mind. It made her sick just to think about it. She picked up her pace and tried to leave them behind. Two blocks later, she wanted to breathe out a fresh sigh of relief, but out of the corner of her eye, she saw something. It started as a shadow, but as it came into the flickering street lights, she saw it was a man. She gripped Bear's leash tightly, he was already vigilant. Had one of the gang guys followed her? Sandra fought back the bile welling up her throat and walked as fast as her legs would carry her toward the corner gas station and ATM. By the time she stood in front of the keypad, it was clear the man was indeed shadowing her. Panic set in and there was only one thing left to do. The tall, scruffy man came close, hovering near the gas station door and far too close for comfort. She could smell his pungent cologne and waft of cigarettes from his leather jacket. Everything that happened next happened from terror and pure reflex. She turned, eyes hard, and uttered one, life-saving word. Protect, Bear's training already had him on guard, but he instantly switched to attack mode. He squared himself to the tall man, lowered his head, and let out a long, deep growl and imposing bark. The man looked up from his phone and jumped back in surprise. Sandra could see him clearly now. He was older, much older than the drinking guys. He had the appearance of a weathered biker. He looked between a terrified Sandra and the intimidating police dog that was ready to go for the throat at any moment. He took a few more steps back and raised his hands in submission. Sorry, little lady. Didn't mean to startle you. He waved his phone. Just distracted. It wasn't enough to let her take Bear off alert, but a fraction of the fear melted away. You shouldn't follow a girl like that, she snapped. He nodded his head and then said something surprising. He agreed and apologized. He was only there for the same ATM. It was too easy sometimes to forget that not everyone walked around feeling safe. As Sandra quickly punched in her pin and took out the rent, he commented he would never be able to sleep if his daughters lived in a place like this. He then pulled out a business card. It turned out the guy was a bike repairman. She politely declined his offer to walk her home, but something inside her told her to keep the card and his other offer to call if she ever needed help. You never know. As she made the nerve-wracking walk back to her crummy apartment, she looked down at Bear. He was back on calm alert, a brown and black scruffy companion that would do anything to keep her safe. She gave him a scratch behind the ears and one of his favorite treats from her pocket, and he gave her a loving lick in return. She was lucky beyond words to have him.